This is EY Stream. He just realized YouTube is broken. Please stop him from going crazy by hitting subscribe and the bell icon before today's video. Please guys, I need views. Let's jump around and see whether we have my blood moon. What? <laughs> hey, what's up guys? EY Stream back here with another Minecraft video and today guys things are about to get spooky because I'm going to be trying to find the cursed blood red moon in Minecraft using the supposedly haunted seed known as Saturn. Now if you've never heard of the cursed seed Saturn, that's totally fine guys. I am going to be explaining all the lore behind it and why people think it's cursed in today's video. But before we get into that guys, make sure to drop a like down below. We're gonna have a two thousand likes on today's video guys and if you are new to the channel welcome make sure to slap the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon to ding 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 to never miss an upload guys but here's the thing no youtuber has ever managed to actually capture the blood red moon on video which means a lot of people in the comments below are like dude you're fake the blood red moon is fake and the youtubers are like no 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 no, no. it's true it's real but you know what i kind of agree with the comment section for once i know right the comment section on youtube is pretty crazy but i actually agree with them here no youtuber has been able to show the blood red moon on video which kind of makes me think it might be fake but that's what i'm going to be aiming to do today guys see whether it is fake or not but if it is real we're going to need all the luck we can get so everyone please hit the bell icon right now if we have any chance of seeing the blood med rune that is the only way we will see it if everybody hits the bell icon right now guys so please guys increase the chances of us finding us we need all the luck we can get but we're gonna go ahead and create this cursed world let's go all right guys so here we are about to create the world now the first thing you're going to need to do is switch your world name over to a blood moon now i've been told that this is the only way you're going to be able to get the blood moon not sure how true that is but yeah just name your world blood moon now i'm actually going to switch over to creative because if something goes wrong and this world is actually cursed and the blood moon is real i do not want to be stuck in survival when something goes horribly wrong like who knows i don't even know what could happen but trust me i do not want to be in survival when it goes wrong now besides for that the seed guys is saturn with a capital s just like that now here's the thing if you guys are brave enough to try this for yourself best of luck good luck guys but i will not recommend it because i've had reports of people's devices actually blowing up in their hands so honestly i don't recommend it but if you guys are brave enough good luck to you we're also going to switch off multiplayer so you know nobody who joins the world gets cursed or haunted or anything i don't want to bring any harm to anyone else in the making of today's video and to prove that this is 100% vanilla Minecraft. As you can see, I've got no resource packs and no behavior packs. So no add-ons, mods, or texture packs in today's video, guys. It is 100% vanilla Minecraft. Anything you see in the video is legit. Now we're going to go ahead and create the world. All right. Here we go, guys. Launching in to the Saturn Seed now. Welcome to the Seed Node as saturn now the last time we were here was actually in my top five scary seeds video if you guys haven't checked that out i will have the link in the description below so make sure to check that video out it's really really cool and uh you'd learn a lot of interesting things about minecraft but here's the thing in that video while we found a lot of crosses on this seed we never saw a blood red moon just a regular white moon like as white as this sun right here and it was really disappointing and a lot of people in the comments below including myself we're like, all right, so maybe Saturn is actually a fake seed. But then a bunch of you guys kept sending me pictures of blood moons in Minecraft. And I'm like, no way, no way. It must be photoshopped or edited or something. But then you guys were like, no, it's not photoshopped. We're not lying. So I guess I was like, all right, maybe if we do an experiment, we'll see. So what I'm doing today, guys, is testing to find out whether or not this seed is actually cursed and whether or not you can actually get a blood red moon in minecraft by doing a little bit of experiment basically we are going to sit in the seed for four nights in a row now if the blood moon does not come on any of those four nights i'm gonna say this seed is fake and yeah that'll be really disappointing but i will claim the blood red moon is a myth it is not true and it is fake now if we do find the blood moon i honestly don't know what we're gonna do or what happens because Nobody's ever actually done it on video before, so I wasn't able to find any information on what happens afterwards, which is a little kind of creepy 
and scary for me. But that is the experiment we're going to be doing in today's video. Before we start, I kind of want to check the tiger biome because last time I was here, I found crosses here and, uh, you know, they were there once and maybe that's random and just, you know, it's a coincidence, right? But if we can find them two times in a row, then it might be time to start worrying. Anyway, so we're going to have a look around here. All right, yeah, it seems pretty normal, pretty normal. Now, the, the lore behind this seed, guys, is this seed, Saturn, is supposed to be able to tell you whether or not your world is cursed. Basically, if you get a red blood moon, it means that your world is cursed and Herobrine is haunting your world. That's right, guys, it's kind of weird, kind of creepy, and, you know, at the same time, I want to find a blood moon, I also don't, because I don't want Herobrine to be living inside my Minecraft world. But anyway, oh my, wait, 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 wait. That cross? Guys, all right, so there's one cross. Now, here's the thing. It's not, it, yeah, okay, it's not a real cross because technically this block is one block below even though it does look like a cross. So what I'm gonna say is that's just random terrain generation. It's random, it's just a coincidence. That's one cross only. Now, here, here's how I feel. If there's more than three crosses in a world, then it's not a coincidence. So I'm gonna keep hunting for them just for a little longer before we decide to start our experiment. But I mean, hmm. Oh, no. Come on, two crosses. What? Okay, there were two crosses really close to each other. Now, a ton of you guys in the comments will be like, look, EY Stream, you set it up. That's the first comment I get a lot. But you guys saw me create the world. It's not set up. Two is that it's random seed generation. But we've just found two crosses right next to each other. And I don't know about you guys, but finding two crosses so close to each other in the same biome is rare. It's not normal. No, no matter how much you like to tell me that, it's not common to find that. Now, continuing on with the lore of the seed, guys, basically, the other thing you can find in the seed is the planet Saturn. Now, if you look into the night sky and you see Saturn instead of a blood red moon, it means that you are protected from all Minecraft curses and Herobrine and Green Steve will never be able to attack you. Now, if we found that, that would be even more insane than finding a blood red moon. But yeah, I'm not going to get my hopes too high up, guys, because I really don't get the feeling that I'm protected. My luck is pretty, pretty bad, guys. Really, really bad, in fact. Um... And yeah, I think, if anything, oh no, there is another cross, three crosses, you know, one cross, random, two crosses, coincidence, three crosses, I'm beginning to think that this world might actually be cursed, because, uh, I don't know, guys, there shouldn't be this many crosses in one biome so close to each other, that shouldn't be a thing, and I don't think Mojang ever built that into their game, there is no actual way, but yeah, I don't see any other crosses, so, you know, maybe... Maybe I'm overreacting just a little, guys. Often you guys say I'm overreacting. And you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe you guys are right. Maybe I am overreacting. And this is just, you know, maybe there aren't any other crosses. Because now that we're looking around, I'm not seeing any more. And that's making me feel a little bit more comfortable about the seed, I guess. I, I guess. I mean, I still don't know. I'm still a little kind. What is that weird light glitch? Uh, I don't know whether you guys saw that, but... I've never seen that light glitch in any other seed before. Okay, that's a little strange. I don't like that at all, but... Mm, I don't know. I'm just... Mm, uh, I don't know, guys. I've never seen that before. But, you know, it might just be a normal Minecraft glitch. And maybe I just, you know, randomly haven't seen it before. Oh, my gosh. The light glitch is happening over there as well. Okay. I don't like this. Let's get out of the tiger biome and let's start our experiment. I don't like this at all. There were crosses. There were weird light glitches. Let's go ahead and start our experiment. I'm going to get over to the savannah biome just because I, I really don't want to be stuck inside that biome um, if a blood moon appears. That's, that's all I can say. I do not want to be near the crosses. Now, the sun's here and it's setting in this direction, so the moon will be rising from this side. Let's go ahead. Now, I don't really want to wait for it to become nighttime, so I'm going to go ahead and set the time to sunset just when the sun is setting and when the moon is rising. And I guess... We'll just start the experiment now. So, let's go ahead. Time, set, uh, sunset, I believe it is. Sun, sunset. Uh, ch -ch -ch. All right. Oh, I need to go ahead. Slash time, set, sunset. There we go. All right. So, the sun's setting, guys. Now, the question is, is will we get a blood moon? On the first night, that'd be pretty impressive. And I really hope, come on. Ah. Uh, well. I guess there's night one already discounted. That is, unfortunately, that is just a normal moon. Well, that's really, really d disappointing. <sighs> that's really sad, actually. Like, I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to find a blood moon on, you know, the first episode. And it'd be like, oh my gosh, look at that blood moon. First night. That'd be crazy. And then I could do a video on that. And it'd be like, yay, but nothing. 
just a normal plain white moon. Maybe this seed is fake. I mean, you know what? Either that or it means my Minecraft world isn't cursed. But, you know, there's night one. I said we were going to do this for four nights. So I guess we'll just have to wait till night two. Actually, wait a minute. Maybe because we used commands, the blood moon didn't appear. Because theoretically, if Herobrine is controlling this world, then he would know if we used commands. And he would specifically not give us the blood moon because he thinks we're trying to get it on purpose. Maybe he thinks we're trying to find the blood moon and he doesn't want to give it to us in that case. So, if, mm, I don't know. What we'll do is I'm going to wait for the moon to go all the way around. I'm going to wait through all of tomorrow. I might go get some food or something. And we'll see. I'm not going to use any commands and I'll jump back here. I'll put a little jump cut and we'll get back here when the sun is setting. And we'll see whether or not we get a blood moon on the second night if we don't use commands. Because perhaps that's the reason it didn't work tonight. But I guess that's the only... We don't have a lot of options. So that's what we're going to do, guys. I'll see you on night two. Tomorrow. All right, guys. Fingers crossed. It is night two. The sun is setting right now. I just got back onto here after doing a little bit more research on the blood moon. And a few different things. I'll explain to you what, what I found on the internet in a minute. But here's the moment of truth, guys. Do we have a blood moon on night two? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, oh, that's so disappointing. Ah, oh, come on. Why? I really want this to be real, guys. I honestly want to know. Like, I want to believe that there's a blood moon in Minecraft because so many of you guys have told me there is. But I don't know. Two nights in a row. We're already halfway through the experiment. And still... No blood red moon. That's, I don't know, that's just disappointing and is making me begin to believe it might be fake, which is, huh, that's just a little, a little bit of a letdown, honestly, guys. I was hoping for more. I was hoping to see a blood moon today, but that's, that's a little disappointing. All right, so here's the thing, though, guys. Even though we've had two nights of solid normal moons, we still have two more nights to go, two more chances. And here's what I found on the internet. Apparently, to have a higher chance of getting a blood moon in Minecraft, you need to do the blood moon summoning ritual, which requires you just to have a flint and steel, and you need to make a fire cross. Now, I feel like this is a little dumb, honestly, because a fire cross will just burn out, but apparently the idea is, is you make a fire cross, you leave it to burn out overnight, and then the next day you'll have a regular day, but then the night after, the blood moon will appear. I'm not sure how much I believe that, but you know, honestly, I'm pretty desperate right now. With two nights in a row with a regular moon, I'm willing to try anything, even if it sounds stupid. So let's go ahead. We'll make a cross out of fire. All right, and bang, and bang. All right, there we go, guys. That is our fire cross in Minecraft. All I can hope is that we will get a blood moon tomorrow. At the same time, though, I kind of don't want a blood moon because the more I think about it, I don't really want hair in my world. But I need. we need to know whether or not the blood red moon is a real thing in Minecraft. I need to know. That is me. I really need to find out for myself, for you guys, and that is the only way. Our fire cross is about to burn out right now. We're just going to sit here until it completely burns out, and then I'm going to go ahead, jump cut till sunset tomorrow, and we'll, I guess we'll see whether we have any changes to the experiment. I'm really, really hoping that we can find a blood red moon, at least maybe tomorrow or on nightfall. That'd be great, but I will see you guys tomorrow for day three. Tomorrow for sure. <sighs> okay, guys, it's night three. I am getting really tired of waiting through these days. It's boring, it's hard, and honestly, I think this, this experiment is a bust. There's no blood moon, honestly. I'm honestly, I'm beginning to think this world is fake. It's not real. It's disappointing, I know, guys. But I guess night three, experiment's not over. Let's jump around and see whether we have a blood moon. What? what? Guys, 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 guys. Are you seeing this? Am I the only one seeing this? Am I going crazy? Guys, it is a blood moon in Minecraft. We found it. We found the blood moon. We found the blood. What am I supposed to do now? Okay, um, 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 um. Oh, no. What am I actually supposed to? I didn't think we were going to find a blood red moon. I thought it was fake. I had already decided that I'd given up on this experiment. Um... Okay, I haven't really planned what to do in the video now. I, I, it's, uh, 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 but, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, um, um, I'm kind of processing this. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know. The blood red moon means your world is cursed and that Herobrine is inside of it. This is bad. This is, this is bad. This is very, this is very, very, very bad. I don't, 
where do we go from here? The blood red moon, is my world affected? Is there anything strange going on? All right, no, the world, the world seems fine, but we actually have a blood red moon in Minecraft. Um, okay, okay, um, okay, um, I just, I don't know where to go from here. That shouldn't have happened. I didn't expect it, but I guess it's not fake anymore. It's, it's real, it, it's there. I don't know if you guys are seeing this. Wait. Maybe because I'm the only one that's cursed I can see it. Wait, wait, you guys need to let me know in the comments right now whether you can see this as well or whether it's just me going crazy or whether it's me because I'm cursed. But I swear, guys, if you can't see the red blood moon right now, it is there. I'm actually seeing a blood moon in Minecraft. I, I don't know what to think of it anymore. All right, um, what do we do? I don't know. I, 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 I had a plan for this, guys. I just... I'm feeling really sick and dizzy right now, and I don't know, I'm trying to focus on the video. Please, guys, excuse if my voice is weird, or today, or like, I feel, or I go dizzy, or I faint in the video, because right now I've just been hit by a super hard headache, because this is so much for me to process right now. I was expecting this experiment to be a bust, and you know, this video just to end boring, but we, that's a, it's there, like, you can't tell me it's fake, it is literally there in the sky, what? What else am I supposed to say? It's real! Um, okay, uh, is anything different with the world? Surely, if there's a blood red moon, sup- like, it means that Herobrine is in your world, and it means it's cursed, so I mean, is there anything strange going on? Nothing really, really strange, everything seems normal. Wait, guys, do llamas normally have red eyes? I don't think they do! Llamas do not normally have red eyes, I don't think they do. Um, this llama has red eyes, I- Maybe it's- maybe they do normally have red eyes. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to llamas eyes very often. Do any other mobs- Do any other mobs have red eyes? Alright, this pig over here. Do you have red eyes? Wait, 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 wait. We need to see his eyes. Oh my gosh. Guys, this pig also has- so does that pig. And that llama. They all have red eyes. What is going on right now? Do I have red eyes? Okay, no, I don't know. I don't know have red eyes. That's good, that's good, that's good. This blood red moon is doing something, guys. These animals all have red eyes. Do normal mob- do like hostile mobs have red eyes? Oh my gosh, guys, look. The creep- that is- that is really creepy. The creeper has red eyes as well. All the mobs- do the zombie? The zombie has red eyes as well. I don't- what does this mean? What does this mean, guys? Why do all the mobs have red eyes? I don't understand. I don't- I don't get it. Why? What's going on right now, guys? Why do all the mobs have red eyes? Alright, so either the red moon is cursing them or something, or maybe Herobrine is possessing them. Oh wait, I have a new theory. Guys, if you've been keeping up with my survival series where I try and prove whether seeds are cursed or not, by the way, if you haven't checked it out, link in the description below. But recently, guys, we had something really strange called Test Subject 3, who honestly I think is scarier than Herobrine and Green Steve combined. If you don't know anything about him, I have three videos at the moment in the series, which you can check out by hitting the link in the description below where I explain who Test Subject 3 is. But this is the third night. And Test Subject 3 literally went missing in my last video. We actually lost him. Maybe he's the one possessing all of the animals and mobs and zombies and stuff. Maybe it's not Hero Brian. Maybe it's actually Test Subject 3 that's possessing all of these mobs. I don't know. I'm going out on a limb here, guys. Honestly, I'm just kind of spitballing theories of the skeleton. Yeah, the skeleton also has red eyes. I don't know what to make of this, guys. Do they all just have red eyes? Does that make them evil? Does that make them hostile? Okay, we gotta- I have- This- I'm going to regret this so much, guys, but I'm actually going to switch into survival and see if these- if the peaceful mobs, such as pigs, are now hostile. Alright, I'm going to regret. I know I'm gonna regret. Oh, why am I doing this? Here we go, guys. Switching into survival. Alright, are you hostile, pig? Are you hostile? Alright, he's staring at me. Okay, he doesn't seem to be hostile. That's really strange. Are you- if I hit him, is he hostile? No, he's not hostile, guys. He doesn't seem to be hostile. Great! Oh my gosh! No, he's hostile. He's hostile. Okay, no, that's- no! Peaceful mobs are hostile as well. He's chasing after me. Oh my god. Guys, guys, the pig, the pig's hostile. All right, so my theory that, you know, peaceful mobs aren't hostile is clearly wrong 
Clearly something is possessing them to make them hostile. Or maybe it's just the effects of the red blood moon. I don't know. We better kill this guy. I'm sorry, pig. I'm so sorry that I don't know whether you're being possessed right now. But I'm sorry. You're going to have to be killed. That red eye is really, really strange, guys. I don't know. But peaceful mobs being hostile? Like, I've never had a pig attack me before in Minecraft. That is really strange. I don't know what to make to think about it. Uh, are hostile mobs still, like, normal? Do they do more damage? Are they harder to defeat? Who knows? I guess we'll have to test it out. Alright, let's find... Find a hostile mob real quick. There's a zombie over there. Uh, I don't like this at all, guys. Why? I... When I can't explain something, that's when I start freaking out. And I honestly can't explain why any of these mobs have red eyes and there's also red flowers. Were they here before? I can't remember. I... I... All right, we need to find, we need to find another. Oh, what's shooting me? What? Okay, the skeleton. How, how is he doing that much damage? I don't know about you guys, but I don't think skeletons normally do that much damage. Wait, they're attacking each other? Wait, guys, do skeletons normally shoot arrows this quickly? No, 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 no. Guys, wait, no, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. I, wait, we just need to get a look at that, guys. Ske look at how fast the skeleton is shooting arrows. Is that normal? Let me know in the comments below. Is that normal or is this something the blood moon is doing to the mob. I I honestly legitimately don't know right now. I bet it, I've got nothing else to eat. I better eat this raw pork chop. Can we kill him? Can we kill red-eyed mobs? Okay, the tone of undying just saved us there, guys. Let's try and kill him. Let's try and kill him. Uh, I don't know. This red blood moon, dude. All the mobs have red eyes and I don't know why. It seems like mobs that are peaceful attack us and normal mobs seem to have more attack power and are really, really hard to kill, as we saw by that skeleton just there. I don't know what to think about, guys. I- oh my god, there's a red eye creeper right there. We need to move, we need to move. I really don't know what to think about it, guys. I need to do some more research into this. I need to find out. But for those of you who are wondering if this was actually true or not, honestly, guys, I'm not lying to you. You can see it right there. That is a red blood moon in Minecraft. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I- I really don't know what to do anymore, guys. Please, I'm going to restart my computer after this so that if there is Herobrine on this world, we can get rid of him for future videos. But anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, guys, EY Stream out. Bye.